What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Happy 4th of July week. If you're watching this video, you should be getting this video before the 4th of July. That is my prayer and my hope. And also, if it's 4th of July week, you know what that means. It is the week of my anniversary. My wedding anniversary is on July the 3rd. This year, we'll be celebrating 27 years of marriage, 35 years together. God is good. I love that dude. Uh, welcome to see what, ha see what happens live, girl. Welcome to see what Rita's cooking. I'm glad to have you on another video with me. It is kind of early for me in the daytime. I wanted to do a couple of videos for you guys before I left to go out of town, just so you can have a couple of videos to watch while I'm out of town. Um, this one is going to be a quick and easy one. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming and clicking on this video. I hope this video will make you want to click on other videos and join my Rita's Eaters team. Um, but if you just decide to watch and not become a subscriber, you still my dude and you still my boo. And I love you for watching and I appreciate it. Today, what I'm going to be making is smothered potatoes. I love this in the morning. I love this for breakfast. I love this. You know, I started making me some coffee. Child, let my coffee get out. Oh, come on now. Yeah, it ain't cocoa. Um, but I'm going to be making these um, smothered potatoes. Um, let me get me some uh, palm oil and some uh, coconut in here. Some syrup. I got to give me a little syrup, y'all. And give me some uh, crema. But I'm going to be making these uh, for my breakfast. We're brunch now. It's not early enough to be talking about, I mean, later. It's too late to be saying breakfast, so I'm going to call it brunch. See if I got some cream on here, child. Y'all see all this stuff I got in this refrigerator? No judge zone, honey. Don't judge me. Got to give me some coffee. I am drinking my uh, caramel coconut uh, caramel, caramel coconut, coconut cream, something like that, child. It's caramel and coconut. Let me see. Hazelnut, coconut, and caramel. Ooh, child. Hazelnut, coconut, and caramel coffee, y'all. Um, but like I said, it's it's uh the day before we leave to go out of town. Uh, for our anniversary. Now, because of everything that's going on, you know, we're just going right down the street to my favorite place. Y'all probably not really said it. What's my favorite place to I love to run down there to Oklahoma. Mm, mm, mm. I love to run down there. Well, you know what? I've been satisfied with that right here, right here recently because so much has been going on. But I was telling my husband the other day, I'm really ready to get on a plane. <laughs> but um, so let's get this let's let's get this started though. I'm not talking enough. I don't want to get in trouble. I've been talking for three, four minutes. So what we're gonna be doing today is smothered potatoes. Some people call them home fries. Some people call them uh, breakfast potatoes, uh, potatoes and onion. Anything you want to call it is fine. This is the way that I do mine. I'm not saying it's the only way. I'm just saying it's the way that I do mine. Oh, I need some more of this coffee, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. I can't let it get too cool. I'm gonna have to. Nook it when I, I get a, a get a chance. Um, so let's see what we have here. We've spoken. I'm gonna turn my pan on. Let it start getting hot. Uh, I've loved on you. You loved on me. I feel y'all love. Y'all just don't know when y'all talk to me in those comments, negative or not. I know that means somebody's watching. So it's not. It's it's ninety percent positive, ninety percent cheerleader, and I love you guys for loving me just as I am. It feels good uh, because I'm gonna be me. <laughs> I'm going to be mean. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to tell people that. But let's get started on these smothered potatoes, okay? So what I have right here is I have my little pan. This is not my Jethro pan. This is my Sethro pan. I'm going to stop y'all, and I'm going to put y'all on the other side. Hold on. Okay, so here we are about the stove, you guys. And I've got Sethro already getting hot. And what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to put two tablespoons of and when i say tablespoons i mean the big spoon that you use with your silverware okay i'm gonna put two tablespoons of margarine you can use butter margarine or anything you like this is for my vegetables that i'm gonna be cooking which consists of uh oh, which consists of white salt dressing jesus onions bell pepper and i've got my bell pepper i got the green and the red oh, calm down bro I ain't doing all this. Yeah, I gotta throw some water in here. 
She is so aggressive. Jesus, Lord, y'all. Okay, so that's what that is. I'm going to be cooking my vegetables first, moving them to the side. Then I'm going to be cooking my uh, potatoes. You guys, I use rusty potatoes. You can use any potato that you like. Um, because I didn't immediately start cooking these potatoes, these potatoes have been sitting in some cold water. That keeps them from oxidizing, you guys, and turning brown. But uh, before I cook these, I'm going to be... I'm going to this, but butter going wild like this. Before I cook them, you guys, I'm going to be draining them, and I'm going to pat them dry with a paper towel, a paper towel before I put them in the oil. Now, I'm going to be doing my vegetables in butter, and I'm going to be doing my... Um, potatoes in just the same amount of oil. You want just a little bit of vegetable oil, and of course, y'all know my favorite is the canola and vegetable oil mix. I love that. And uh, so that's what I'll be doing that in. Baby, you about to get fired, okay, Pam? Whew, I don't understand it. Okay, so this is what we have. I chopped up these vegetables in dices, in little squares. You don't want them really, really little. You want everything in a good bite size that will hold up because you want to uh, be able to, um, you don't want it to break down in the process, okay? Now, this will take about 10 minutes. What you want to do is you just want to get a nice little um, color on here. And um, I don't season these. I just go ahead on and get me a nice little caramelization on these, okay? And as you can see, these uh, are some good little chops, you know. I like them in good little chops. And the same with my potatoes. Let me show you my potatoes, too. Okay, we're just going to let these caramelize and do their thing. And then I'll show you some more things that I do. Um, my seasoning is pretty um, basic. But as you can see, these are just, let's see, I got them going somewhere. Yeah, you see this? This little squares, you know. And I leave my hull on mine. That's just a prop on my peel. That's a preference as well. I don't peel them. Um, you can peel yours if you want to, you know, your food, your way. I'm just giving you a little, you know, tutorial on how I do mine. You tweak it any way you want to for your family. You know what y'all like. So I'm just going to uh, continue to cook these, get a caramelization on these. And when I have them like I want them, I'll be right back and we're going to start the potatoes, okay? Okay, so y'all see this? Just until they're trans, your onions are translucent. And you start getting a little caramelization on your... Um, on your veggies, that's when I remove them, okay? I take them out because we know we're gonna put these back in here once we have a color on our um on our potatoes that we like. We're gonna be putting this back in there. So just get them just translucent enough. One second. Just translucent enough. a little color on them, just a little bit, all right? Let me put these all the way on in here so I can go ahead on, get this over with. I'm reaching over, I'm sorry if I am. Get y'all over there, get all this together. Come on this side. Now I'm gonna be turning that fire down for my potatoes. For the potato part, you kinda want this to take its time Get that color on there before I get my color on my potatoes before I start the process of um, smothering. Okay, so I'll show you guys exactly what I mean in just a second. Let me get all of this out of here in this pan. Now I'm gonna put me some oil in here, and we're gonna go from there. Okay. okay. So we got a pan back over here. And I'm going to put about the same amount of oil for my potatoes. But before that, I do that, you guys, I'm going to drain these potatoes and I'm going to dry them off. Because I don't want to take them straight from the water to here. Because you don't want a lot of water in your pan. Okay? Hold on just one second. Okay, you guys. So, we're going to put us enough oil just to coat the bottom of our pan. This is about three of those heaping tablespoons. And I'm going to just do just a little bit more. I just want it right enough. Okay? What you want to try to do, if you can, is have your potatoes in here flat. Uh, that means not stacked all up, just where they're flat. I don't know if this is going to happen. I had some potatoes um, that I got from um, my husband's uh, godmother. Well, she's, she's not his godmother, but she's his uh, 
his mother's best friend, she has an organization where she donates food and stuff like that. And she sent a lot of potatoes and onions and stuff over here. And I appreciate that. Uh, but I had just bought some potatoes. <laughs> so I had all these potatoes. So I was just going to make me some smother potatoes, hey? Because who don't like some smother potatoes? Okay. So I've washed and rinsed and dried. Now, you guys, if you're going to have your potatoes sitting out for any time, make sure you put them in that cold water bath so they won't oxidate and turn brown on you and you'll have your beautiful white potatoes uh, ready when you get ready to um, put them in the, in the oil. So that's what we're going to do now. This is about seven uh, medium-sized potatoes. Okay. And I'm going to have some stackage. I see that now. I'm just going to... Let them out as much as I can, okay? Pretty much, doing pretty good. And then what I do, you guys, is I kind of just leave them be. I don't fumble around with them. I put my heat on medium-high heat between uh, six and seven, and I just let them kind of do their thing. What we're looking for them to do is just get a brown, nice coating on them before we start turning them. And what you want to do is you want to get your color the way that you want it before you put the top on it and put that water in there. So that's what we're doing now. So I'm just going to let it sit and I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm ready to flip it. Now I'm going to go ahead on to you guys and, and season it with what I want to season it with. I'm going to be using some garlic powder, some white salt, some black pepper, okay? Some paprika, pat pat, some pat pat, and a little uh, red pepper flakes for some kick, cause you know I'm that kind of person. Okay, a little little kick in my life. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nothing made. And then I'm just gonna let this sit here, like I said, about a minute and a half to three minutes. Okay. I'll kind of go in the middle and I'll see if they're turning. But I know they're not doing anything right now, so right now I'm just going to leave them be, okay? okay? I'll be right back when they start turning brown. Let's take a peek at them, you guys, and see what we see. Oh, yeah, baby. They're getting a look. getting a look. See that? They're getting a little color on. The thing about it, you guys, you got to get the, get the color that you want right now. Because once you cover it and you put that uh, top on there and you uh, put that well, you put that water in there and you put that top on there, all the color, all the coloring process is over with at that point. Now brown don't mean done, you guys either. Okay, so get the color that you like. Okay, get the color that you like, and then once you have the color that you have. Like, we're going to put about a fourth of a cup of water in here. We're going to put our onions and peppers back in here. And we're going to cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to check it, see if we like the doneness. No more than 20 minutes it will take you guys. Okay? So I'm going to keep on playing with this until I get them golden brown like I like them. Okay, y'all, look at these beauties, honey. Look at them. Yes, baby, they so cute. Got that brown melanin in their skin. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than some brown melanin, some cocoa, some chocolate. Ah, yeah, I love it. Okay, so I am pleased with this color. Now, if you think you're going to just be stirring on them and messing with them, do what I do. I set me a timer, and then I let them sit for about a minute, minute and a half to two minutes, and then I flip them, and then I set another timer. And I just do that because you have to kind of let them be if you want them to get, you know, pretty and gorgeous like these are okay yes melanin popping <laughs> yeah. okay so i'm gonna add my onions and bell peppers back into this little number okay yes bell pepper and onions you gonna get you out of here boy lord you ain't like you don't want to be sacrificed get in this pan jesus Oh, what I mean. Okay. And then I'm going to do this little number and incorporate them. You see, no stickage. No stickage. No stickage. With that little bit amount of oil. No stickage. You don't get no stickage. <laughs> Told you what to do. Like I gotta do to do what I say. You have you some beautiful potatoes. See, they're not breaking down a lot either. Because I have them in some good little size. The smaller they are, the more they break down. 
okay? okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna add us some water and I have me a one-fourth of a cup of water right here all right I'm gonna hit it with the seasoning one more time for the rind for my mind. I do that you ain't got to do that all right one two three I, 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 I. Okay. Give them a one more good, good, good. Right? Ready, ready, ready. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to put my top on here for at least 10 minutes. I'm going to start with 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, there you go. We're going to turn it down to medium low. Low, medium. Probably about between five and six, okay? We're going to cover these bad girls. All right. And I'm going to let them cook. And I'm going to do the same thing. About two minutes at a time, I'm going to check on two or three minutes at a time. You know what? I'm not going to check on it. In five minutes, I'll check on it. And then the last five minutes, I'll check on it again. Should take about ten minutes for these to get tender and the way that we want them, okay? Okay, you guys, we are at the 15 minute mark. And what I did, ooh, honey, Black Lives Matter, come on, who? Come on, Charles. Um, what I did uh, was I checked them every five minutes. And 15 minutes was just enough for my potatoes to get beautifully charred, beautifully cooked. And they're not broke down too much. They are just the way I like it. I like it. Yes. Come on, every hue of blackness. Karma, cocoa, little old, little old blacky, black, black, yes. I like me some char my potatoes. Stop making all that freaking oil. Come all the way down. We're going to try them. See, we like them. Now, this is why come I like to use a significant size of potato. Because even though they are breaking down, you still got you some good old pieces in there. And that's going to be delicious, okay? Ugh, yes. Make all that noise, you guys. Let me give me something to taste me a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go right over here in this corner. It's gonna give me a little bit right here. Whew. Yes, baby, baby, baby. All right. Mm. Now, you get your potatoes to your doneness and however you want them, but this is just fine for me. I like it where I can t stick my potato, my fork in there. They're tender. It goes right straight through. My vegetables still got some little little uh, texture to them. That's, that's just how I like it, you guys. I eat mine with a little, um, probably a little ketchup and a little syrup. <laughs> okay, don't roll your eyes until you try it. Dog. Okay, we're going to pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up and letting us see this day that wasn't promised to us, Lord. We just ask for peace, Lord. We just ask for healing in this nation, in this world, God. We ask that you watch over and protect us and our families and our comings and our goings. Anyone that's sick, Lord, heal them. Anyone that's going through trouble, God, fix it for them, God. If they pray to you and they ask for you to help them, help them so they'll know that you are real. You're still performing miracles in this day and time that we're in. You're still in control. You don't cause this stuff to happen. You allow it to happen to bring our attention to you and to bring us back to where we need to be with you. God, we are grateful to uh, just be here. You know, we know that every day we wake up and take a breath, it is a miracle and it is a blessing and that you allowed it and we thank you for it. Now, God, as we eat this food, we ask you to bless this food. Bless the hands that prepared this food. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And if any of my subbies or my viewers try this, let it come out great for them and let it be good. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I'm going to give you the first bite like I always do. I got to get used to this camera being this way, my brother. Ooh, he got my nerve telling me stuff. Got me all weird. Now, here you go, baby. Mmm. Okay? Now, I'm going to try it now. It's hot. So, I'm going to give it a little, little minute. Well, I'm going to give it a little minute. I'm going to put the camera back up. Okay, you guys. I don't know when you'll be seeing this video. But, uh, on the 3rd, like I said, July 3rd is my anniversary. <laughs> 27 years of marriage, you guys. 35 years together. I still love him just like I did the first 
time I said I love you too, because you know he said it first. <laughs> Let's try these potatoes. I'm going to be, um, my hair, I'm going to wear it straight, y'all. So, that's why I got this thing on. It's washed in. I think y'all done seen my new color. I'll probably uh reach out to y'all on my way down to Winstar or something. I don't know. Let me taste it. Mm. Do the rock. Do the rock. Do the rock. Roll it back. Potatoes is my jam, honey. That's a problem. But... At 54, you might as well have happiness in your soul at this age. You might as well just live your life out loud, unapologetically, and do what makes you happy. Because not a day is promised to us. A month, a month. Okay? Mm. Smother, potato. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember, your food ain't all the way live until it's been redesigned. Also, you guys, remember... I have two rib videos that will require you not to have flies in your house all day and not to be cooking all day. I have a baked ribs video and I have a country rib, Coca-Cola rib video. Both of them are amazing. I have baked beans on here. You know, I got green beans on here. I got salads on here. You are covered. Take advantage of it. If you don't want to look through a hundred and something to almost 200 videos just go on youtube in the search engine and put see what Rita's cooking and put what you're looking for i probably have it okay i see you guys enjoy yourself on fourth of july weekend be safe be uh precautious not panicked but do what you need to do to be safe for yourself and for others wear your mask if you're around a lot of people do these things, you guys. We got to beat this pandemic, and we can do it, okay? I believe in y'all. You don't want to get coronavirus. I know. Trust me. My daughter ended up with it as well. So, I didn't tell y'all about that. She wasn't as sick as my husband, but she was sick. So, it's, it's a thing, and it is real, you know, and I don't want... I don't, I don't want nobody I love, nobody I care about, nobody I hate to get coronavirus. It is serious, you guys. So take it serious. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.